please rise for the playing of our national anthem. You may now be seated. Good evening, everyone. My name is Ayushu Nutkut, and it is my honor to welcome you to the 51st annual Ann Arbor Huron High School commencement ceremony. Thank you to all the teachers, parents, and staff who have worked so hard these last four years to make today possible. Now, it is my pleasure to welcome the a cappella and bel canto choir alongside the symphony band, directed by Mr. Waddleworth.
Good evening. On behalf of the Board of Education, the Superintendent of the Ann Arbor Public Schools, and here on High School faculty and staff, it is my great pleasure to welcome you as we recognize and honor the class of 2019 at Huron High School's 51st commencement ceremony. Tonight, I would like to take a moment to recognize the following members of the Board of Education who are present. Vice President Brian Johnson, Trustee Susan Beskett, Trustee Jessica Kelly, Trustee Rebecca Lazarus, President Harmony Mitchell. Also, please join me, yes. Also, please join me in recognizing Dr. Janice Kerr-Swift, Superintendent of the Ann Arbor Public Schools. Thank you. I would also like to acknowledge the Ann Arbor Public School District Administrative staff who are present this evening. 
Ms. Leanne Dickinson Kelly, Assistant Superintendent for Instruction. Ms. Dawn Linden, Executive Director for Elementary Education. Mr. Paul DeAngelis, Executive Director for High Schools. Ms. Concetta Lewis, Interim Executive Director of Student Intervention and Support Services. And Ms. Liz Margolis, Executive Director for Student and School Safety. Also joining us is Mr. Kevin Carr, IB District Facilitator, and Mr. Paul Campbell, Head of Development for IB Americas. I would like to recognize and thank the following administrators, counselors, and office professionals who are here this evening and have helped make this ceremony possible. Ms. Tracy Stevenson, ninth grade dean. Mr. Michael Summerton, 10th and 11th grade class principal. Mr. Marcus Ed Edmondson, 11th and 12th grade class principal. And Mr. Tony Wyron, assistant principal and athletic director. Our 12th grade counselors, Ms. Nina Perko, Ms. Emily Marshall, Ms. Caitlin Van Cleve, and Rising Scholars Counselor, Ms. Rashonda Jamerson. I'd also like to acknowledge our 9th and 11th grade counselors, Ms. Nicole Nunley, Ms. Heather Pataki, and Ms. Terry Castron. And our office professionals who are assisting tonight, Ms. Dallas Colligan, Ms. Heidi Kirst, and Ms. Sarah Blake. I would also like to acknowledge and thank the Huron High staff members who are present this evening, as well as those who could not join us tonight. Thank you for giving tirelessly of yourselves to your students each and every day. As professionals, you set high expectations and assisted these graduates in reaching their academic and personal excellence. Thank you. <laughs> Additionally, thank you to the PTSO for their ongoing support to Huron High School. Dear members of the graduating class of 2019, tonight's 51st commencement ceremony recognizes and celebrates your accomplishments, awards you a high school diploma, and serves as the beginning of the next part of your life's journey. I imagine it seems like a long time ago since you began your K-12 educational journey beginning with kindergarten. I am sure though that if I asked your parents or guardians if it seemed like a long time ago, they would likely say that your years in school have gone by so very quickly, probably like the blink of an eye. Your path to graduation began 13 years ago. Perhaps you experienced emotions the first time you entered that kindergarten classroom, similar to those you may be feeling this evening. Happy, sad, nervous, excited, and even a little scared about what is next. The world is certainly very different from when you entered kindergarten when the Pink Panther, the Pirates of the Caribbean 2, and Superman Returns were box office successes, when Nintendo released the Wii, when Google purchased YouTube, and when Pluto was downgraded from a planet. As a kindergartner, you may have also sung along and danced to the popular songs of Beyonce, Mariah Carey, and Madonna. Tonight, though, you will receive a diploma signifying that you have completed all of the Ann Arbor Public School graduation requirements. Huron's class of 2019 is indeed a distinguished class. Tonight, there are 398 students graduating. <laughs> Among the graduates are 11 presidential scholar candidates and two semifinalists. Among our graduates, there are 39 National Merit semifinalists and 37 finalists. There are also 42 students who have earned a commended status with a GPA of 3.2 to 3.49. There are 91 students graduating with a GPA of 3.9 or above. 
And there are 90 students who have earned with honors diploma with a 3.5 to a 3.89 GPA or over. This totals 223 students with a commended or with honors diplomas. Tonight, students are wearing cords representing honor roll recognition for a 3.5 or above GPA, grade point average. There are four color categories. 37 students are wearing a white cord <clears throat> signifying one year on the annual honor roll. 30 students are wearing a bronze cord signifying two years on the annual honor roll. 33 students are wearing a silver cord signifying three years on the annual honor roll. And 131 students are wearing green cords signifying four years on the honor roll. This evening, there are also 106 graduates who are also members of the National Honor Society and are wearing a gold cord tonight. <laughs> Numerous graduating seniors also participated and achieved in the areas of career and technical education programs, business programs, music and theater programs, athletic sports teams, publications such as yearbook or the newspaper, and numerous other school clubs too numerous to mention. This is also an important moment to recognize that this is Huron's high, school, high School's first commencement ceremony where 58 students are, school, are the school's first diploma program candidates. These students are wearing a white stole with the IB logo. <laughs> Being successful doesn't happen in isolation or alone. The accomplishments of our graduates are the results of their commitment and hard work that was supported by family and friends. Many thanks to our parents and guardians for allowing us to share in your child's journey through high school. Also thank you for your support to your children and to Huron High School. Class of 2019, would you stand up and join me in thanking and applauding your parents or guardians and all of those people along the way, some of them who might be here tonight, who have supported you along the way. Thank you. You can be seated. River Rats, as you graduate from Huron High School, I ask that you take a moment to reflect with me on the importance of making a difference. I would like to share a, story, a short story entitled, The Falcon and the Branch. Once there was a king who received a gift of two magnificent falcons. They were the most beautiful birds he had ever seen. He gave the birds to his head falconer to be trained. One day, the head falconer informed the king that though one of the falcons was flying majestically, Soaring high in the sky, the other bird had not moved from its branch since the day it had arrived. The king summoned healers and sorcerers from all the land to tend to the falcon, but no one could make the bird fly, and it still had not moved from its perch. Having tried everything, the king thought, maybe I need someone more familiar with the countryside, so he summoned a farmer. The next morning, the king was thrilled to see that the falcon was soaring high above the palace gardens. He summoned the farmer again. The king asked him, how did you make the falcon fly? The farmer said to the king, it was very easy, your highness. I simply cut the branch where the bird was sitting. The falcon was not designed to sit on the branch. Falcons were meant to fly. We are all destined to reach our potentials. There is more to life than to settle for the familiar, to sit on the branch where it seems safe. Tonight you're ending one phase and beginning the next leg of your life's flight. Robert F. Kennedy said, the purpose of life is to contribute in some way to make things better. Whether it is a career pathway or college, next you have the opportunity to find your place in the world and make a difference. As you leave Huron High School, you're indeed changing your direction. Like the falcon in the story, you will need to leave your branch the branch of comfort, of predictability, and perhaps even of security. At Euron, we have encouraged you to think creatively, 
Act with kindness, respect others, solve problems, and strive for your academic and personal best. Tonight, I offer my sincere congratulations to all of you on your level of engagement and your many accomplishments over the last four years. Graduates, find your passion. Dream big. Believe in and be true to yourself. Be kind, be caring, be bold, be courageous, have dreams, set goals, and work hard to reach them. Most importantly, have the courage to fly from your branch. I am confident that Euron's graduating class of 2019 is ready to leave their branches, to fly, to make a difference in the community, the state, the country, and the world. This is indeed your time to fly. This is your time to soar. Graduates, it is my honor to send you with all my best wishes onto the next part of your life's journey as you soar into flight into your future. Congratulations, class of 2019. It's now my honor to introduce Ricardo Mojica, who will deliver the class message. Can you guys hear me on this thing? Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon to all of you. Parents, graduating students, teachers, counselors, alumni, and principals. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Ricardo Mojica. I was a student at Huron for four years. Today, we are here to celebrate the hard work, the determination, and the moving forward of the graduating class of 2019. I want to start by thanking everyone who was involved in this process, whether it be relatives, your counselors, your teachers, the community assistants, and or other loved ones. I want to thank you, because without you, none of this would be possible. Most of all, I'd like to thank my mom. Without her, I wouldn't be here. For some of us, it might feel like today, a large part of our life has come to an end. However, today is the beginning of the rest of our lives. Throughout four long years of high school, you might have felt overwhelmed, stressed, and ready to give up, but you didn't. You kept moving forward. A lot of us suffered and grieved, but most importantly, we all fought. There was one year in specific that I remember well, probably the most difficult year for many of us. The 2016-2017 school year. We lost fellow classmates whom were supposed to be walking the stage with us today. It was an extremely rough year. We all came together as one and helped each other conquer the overgrowing pain in our hearts that tore many of us apart, including me. After today, none of us will have the structure of high school anymore. Whether you go to college, get a job, or you just decide to take a break for a while, we are no longer pushed to a goal by our school faculty. In this case, that goal was to graduate, and here we are. Think about one moment in which you felt overwhelmed and unsupported by everyone in the outside world. You might have felt that way, but you weren't alone. There was always at least one member at Huron who pushed you to succeed whether it be a teacher, a counselor, a principal, a community assistant, a partner, or just a friend. We all had someone in that school. When we leave here today, we are no longer seen every day by them. Some of you will go to college and for the beginning part, feel alone or feel homesick. Whether you miss home, a friendship, or a relationship. At a job, you will no longer be pushed to succeed by one specific person. Anywhere you go, and in anything you do, there will be changes in your life. But no matter who you are, no matter where you're from, 
You will create new bonds and a positive atmosphere for yourself. We will all fail at one point. We all lose. But it's not about how many times you fail. It's how you decide to bounce back. Denzel Washington once said, fail big because you only live once. So do what you feel passionate about, take chances, and don't be afraid to fail. I stand here today to tell all of you that it will be okay as long as you continue to work hard in anything you do. Most of you have witnessed in yourselves and in others that if you do not fail, that means you are doing nothing. If you do not fail, you have nothing to conquer. You can have dreams, but you have to attain goals because dreams without goals are just dreams. They are often the fuel to disappointment. Have a daily goal, a weekly goal, a yearly goal, but don't be afraid to try. You must have discipline and consistency. I'm going to speak to you from the heart. There are times in which I believe we can all say, ah, we're finally getting out. Some of us might mean it, others might just say it to fit in. Whether you are happy to graduate and move on with life, some of us might not be. For those of you who are in fear of what's to come, it's okay. I'm terrified. I'm terrified of what the future holds. A lot of you might be too. But you cannot allow that fear inside to consume you. If you don't fight it, it will take over. And if it does, it's hard to come back from it. Work hard and keep fighting. Talk to that professor you're afraid of. Get that dream job you've been searching for. And most importantly, face the biggest fear in life, growing up. You've made it this far, so keep pushing. I know you all have felt that before, the feeling of giving up. But I am glad you didn't. Because of your hard work and dedication, you sit here today, waiting to move on with the rest of your lives. As you leave this stage behind, don't forget about the times and memories that you created while being just a young kid. Cherish them forever, these final moments before adulthood. Congratulations to all of you, class of 2019. Thank you, Ricardo. I'd now like to introduce Kay Hoffmeyer, who will uh, perform an original composition entitled Awake. Testing. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
an empty room boxed up nice and tight you say goodbye to that desk as you turn off the light and you spread your smile wide because for the first time in a long time you are truly awake Thank you, Kay. That was just beautiful. Thank you. It's now my pleasure to call the executive, 12th grade executive board to the podium for the presentation of the class gifts. Hello, my name is Odia Kaba, president of the 2019 exec board. I'm here with my co-presidents, Rena McGroy and Carly Mish Miss Mishek. Mishek. <laughs> the three of us have led the planning of many Huron events throughout these past four years, and today we will be presenting the senior class gift. We have worked so hard these past four years to create fundraisers for this year's homecoming and prom, and we congratulate all of our peers on graduating this evening. Thank you all for your support. On behalf of the class of 2019, we have been able to purchase a large set of pipe and drape displays for future exec boards to use in all their dances. And we will be donating the rest of our funds for the incoming class of 2023. We are so happy to have contributed to Huron with it, our event. Thank you and good luck to our fellow graduates. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to thank you and I formally accept your class gifts. They will be used tremendously and I'm certain the incoming class will definitely appreciate your donation to their needs. Thank you very much. Well, it wouldn't truly be a graduation if the board president didn't send you off with a 10-minute speech. I'm just kidding. I'm not here for that long, not at all. But I do want to send you off with a, one little lesson. The word light can be used as an adjective, noun, and a verb. Huron class of 2019, I need you to understand that you are the light. As you go off into the different parts of the world, you may encounter dark situations. Here are your three tasks. Always let your light shine through. Light the world on fire and change things for the better. 
And last but not least, have a light heart. Do not allow your troubles, your mistakes, or even your enemies to weigh you down. You are the light. Continue to shine brightly. And from where I stand, it is mighty bright in here. Congratulations, Chiron Class of 2019. Thank you, President Mitchell. Our guest speaker tonight is the head of the Regional Development of Americas, Paul Campbell. Since 1988, Paul Campbell has worked for the IB organization in numerous capacities. He has assisted hundreds of schools and school systems in starting and sustaining IB programs. Over the years, he has become involved in creating the IB Educators Network, the organization's services to school districts, and advocacy work with universities and governments. He currently serves as the head of the development and outreach at IB Global Center in Washington, DC. He lives in Maryland, Maryland with his wife, an archeologist and specialist in historic preservation, and his daughter, an IB diploma student at Albert Einstein's Albert Einhe Albert Einstein High School, a public school in education uh, in Kensington, recently graduated a year ago. And so it's my great pleasure to introduce Mr. Paul Campbell. Hello. I'm Paul Campbell, and I work for the International Baccalaureate, and I got the job because I was the only one who spelled baccalaureate correctly during the interview process. <laughs> that was a long, long time ago, uh, about five years ago, when Ann Arbor started talking about the IB. Um, I made a typical flip remark, and I said, I want to be there for the first graduating class of the IB at Huron High School. I'm really here to keep that promise, but mostly because um, I love coming to Ann Arbor, uh, and I love the IB, and I love your white sashes, and in many ways, this night is as emotional for me as my own graduation, which was so long ago I barely remember it. I want to thank the president of the board, uh, Harmony Mitchell, and the trustees. I'd like to thank your superintendent, Dr. Janice Swift. Over the 30 years I worked for the IB, I've worked with a lot of superintendents, and Janice is simply one of the very best. Her commitment to IB and to getting it right has been phenomenal. But more than that, when she says to me, as she does often, every child, every day, it's more than a slogan, it's an article of faith. And my former colleague and now friend, Kevin Carr, who has shepherded this process through um, its infancy into its early maturity, an extraordinary educator, an extraordinary leader, and a very good friend. To Janet, to Dr. Swab, I should say, to the faculty for the extraordinary work you have done. Uh, I'm not much of one for the traditional ways of doing things, but I, it seems that when you do a graduation speech, there's two things you have to do. One is you have to offer up a quote from somebody famous. So I think so far we have Robert Kennedy and, was it Beyonce? No, it wasn't Beyonce, somebody else. Denzel. Who? Oh, Denzel, I'm sorry, yeah. Denzel, Robert Kennedy. You know, I have a 19-year-old, so I could have gone a lot of ways with this. Um, but I actually settled for something old school because Winston Churchill said something that I think best describes this moment in time as you get ready to graduate from high school. After the Battle of Britain, Churchill said, now is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end. It is perhaps the end of the beginning. When I came to Ann Arbor from Cleveland, where I grew up, to go to the school at U of M, I ended up living close to Pioneer, that other high school, the one uh, by the stadium. Um, I didn't know much about schools in Ann Arbor at the time. I didn't know much about schools, period. 
Uh, but I don't know, there was something about those kids from Pioneer that really got on my nerves. They, they just seemed kind of like, they seemed a little bit stuck up to me, a little stuffy. And I lived literally four blocks from them, so I had to put up with them every day. And this was in your first decade of existence at a school, and somebody told me there's a new school, and the students have chosen the name River Rats as the name of their team, and I said, that is my school. <laughs> now it's 50 years of schooling, and because of everything you've done, Huron is still my school. I'm particularly proud of what you've done with the International Baccalaureate Program. It's very difficult for me to put into words how strong your program is despite its youth. Having 51% of the seniors being involved in one, at least one IB class is really unusual. Having 58 full diploma students with their white sashes and many others who have been involved and getting ready next year to add the career related program and next year I expect there'll be over 100 students getting certificates of some sort from the IB. I have good news to those of you who were involved in the IB. The torture we have inflicted upon you is over. <laughs> temporarily, temporarily. No more IB exams, no more extended essays, no more IOPs, no more IAs, no more OPCVLs. I didn't even know that, what that was, and my daughter explained that's the values and limitations of the origin, purpose, and content of a historical document. Uh, endless reflections as well, and everything else you did to get to this moment. And I was looking at uh, an email today that had the names of uh, the diploma uh, candidates, and uh, I just picked several at random, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce some of these names, it's inevitable, but I just want to read out some of these last names. Almandris, Bhattacharya, Bojani, Chan, Chu, Cho, Galvanowskis, Hewa Gamma, Kale, Kizito, Lindstrand, Makar, Limanov, Raghavendran, Su, Walinga, Wamstecker. It goes on. Wing, Zhang, plus Scott, Carol, Burke, Harrison, Kent, and one of my favorite IB names of all times, and I've been assured by his teachers that he won't mind me saying this, Luke Lucky. He's going to go down in the Hall of Fame of IB names. I don't think you have to be an IB student to get the message. Listen to those last names. These are families from all over that have come together. That's who we are. We come together from all these different places. We celebrate our own traditions and we build new ones. You create a legacy for this school that will be lived in the lives of your siblings, your cousins, and the others you have inspired to follow in your footsteps. That's who we are and that's who we should be. Engaged, critical, compassionate citizens in a complex world. Here comes the advice. I promise this will be unuseful. Um, three things. It's always three, isn't it? It comes in three. So uh, if you have started to learn a foreign language in the IB or in any other circumstance, hang on to it. Find a way to become fluent in that second language. It'll add immense richness to your life's experience. Wherever you go from here, seek out people who are different from you and do so deliberately. Don't flee to the comfort of the bubble of people who believe the same way you do, talk the same way you do, and think the same way you do. And finally, those of you in the IB, and I'm sure many others in school have been involved in service. Continue that commitment to service. It's my experience over the years that those who serve receive much more than those who are served. Uh, the favorite word in my speech uh, for people who are listening is, finally, um, I think back to my own high school days. I, at Shaker Heights High School, we had 608 seniors in my class, and I finished 304th in my class. 
exactly in the middle. I was very proud of that. If I didn't have a transcript to prove it, I almost brought this with me. Uh, no one would believe that in three years of senior high school, with seven classes a semester, I got 42 grades. The first 21, there wasn't anything above a C. And there were several that were in, they were letters that are not even recognizable in the alphabet uh, of grades. In the last 21, I got 20 A's and one A minus. Yeah, exactly. I can prove it, it's true. It, it is, I know it, my transcript is pure science fiction. Um, it's a story that reveals at times a young man who seemed aimless and sometimes felt lost, who came to Ann Arbor, which offered no miracles, just another flavor of feeling lost, who still feels lost at times, but somehow has found a purpose, a mission, and a community that brings me to this moment where I have the incredible honor of sharing this special day with all of you in your families. In truth, in some ways, this is better than my own graduation because of how much I appreciate. So it is with joy that I say to the students of IB for sure, but to every single graduate in the room and all the people that helped you get there, well done here on high school class of 2019. Thank you, Paul. Now I'd like to reintroduce the a cappella and bel canto choir who will present a musical selection.
Thank you very much. At this time, we're going to call to the stage students with a 3-9 cum and a gold collar. And I'll call the administrators to please come up and help Mr. Edmondson present these students with a gift. If you're a student with a gold collar and a 3.9 or higher cum, come on down. And just to remind the audience, this is 91 students that will be coming to the stage. Looking good. Now the administrators will give you a gift from Huron High School. Congratulations.
Ďakujem. Well, now presents six Huron High School Citizen and Scholarship Awards. The first is the Paul K. Myers Award, named for the first principal of Huron High School. This is a recognition of good scholarship, personal character, leadership of fellow students, and dependability in worthy enterprises, and service to the school in athletics, public speaking, dramatics, art publications, student government. I'd like to call to the stage the following students. Hiran Dewa and Abdul Kazito. The next award is the University of Michigan Citizenship Award. This is a recognition of good scholarship, personal character, leadership of fellow students, dependability, and worthy enterprises. The following students that I'd like to call to the stage are Maria, Maya Harrington and Ayush Unadkat. The next award is the Martin Luther King Jr. Award, which is a special recognition to those who have made outstanding contributions in the fields of civil rights. The intent of this award is to honor those students who have personal relations that reflect respect and consideration for others regardless of race or status, display leadership in promoting respect and consideration, have been actively engaged in organized efforts at Huron High School to improve human relationships and have challenged the students and faculty to recognize those prejudices which interfere with good human relationships. I would like to call to the stage Sierra Slater and Walter Smith. The next award is the Understanding and Sharing Diversity Award. Special recognition to those who have made outstanding contributions to understanding, sharing, and appreciating the cultural diversity of Huron. The intent of this award is to honor those students who demonstrate the following characteristics. A knowledge and understanding of cultural, ethnic, racial, and religious differences. An appreciation of the contributions, styles, and values of others and the ability to communicate and actively share their understanding and appreciation with other students and scholarship and citizenship as well. I'd like to call it to the stage, Odia Caba and Pablo Garcia Acuna. award is the Charles Baird Humanitarian Award. This award is not intended to be given for popularity or academic achievement or leadership or extensive participations. It is intended for human humanitarian service towards others using the following items of basic guidelines. Humanitarian attitude towards classmates, high moral character and outstanding de dependability, and an unselfish outlook. Would the following two students please come to the stage? of Namurthy and Taik Sung Lee.
And the last award is the Arthur Will Dr. Arthur L. Williams Integrity Award, named for the former principal of Huron High School. This recognition is given to those who have made outstanding contributions to Huron High School. The intent of the award is to honor those students who have made positive contributions to the Huron climate and display the characteristics of friendship, understanding, and optimism. Would the following two students please come to the stage? Rosemary Wass and Asan Ka. Congratulations to these 12 students. It's now my privilege to call to the stage or to the podium for the commencement address, Mr. Sean Eldon. Hello Huron families, Huron staff, members of the Ann Arbor Public Schools community. To the graduating class of 2019, I say congratulations. You're all grown up. You're not little anymore. And that won't stop everyone you know from offering advice to you today. And I'm certainly not immune to sharing my opinion. So today I'd like to discuss with you three pieces of advice. The first piece of advice is one word. Are you ready? The word is plastics. In 1967, this counted as either sensible advice or a punchline, which comes from the wonderful film, The Graduate. If you haven't seen it, please do as soon as possible. The protagonist, Benjamin, a recent graduate, has no idea what he's going to do in his life, but he's told that the secret is the single word plastics. His, father friend, his father's friend tells him, and immediately Benjamin knows, and the audience too, how absurd and ridiculous this advice is. When a person tells you that a particular industry or field or corporation is going to be the wave of the future and that you need to get in while the getting is good, you could listen. You could even follow their advice, or you could politely say thank you and set their advice aside. Their dreams don't have to be your dreams. Nobody has a crystal ball, and most importantly, there's a lot more to life than plastics. The second piece of advice also comes from a film, Last Year's Crazy Rich Asians. Allow me to describe a tense scene between Rachel, the protagonist of the film, who wants it all, including a meaningful life and romance, and Eleanor, Rachel's potential mother-in-law. In the scene, Rachel and Eleanor have met for the first time. Rachel succumbs to a temptation that many of you may feel during the season of graduation parties. She dares to be honest. And she suggests that her passions are what motivate her. If you're tempted to be honest, first know how Eleanor, the mother-in-law, responds. Eleanor replies contemptuously, how American. And no doubt many of you have heard some form of advice to pursue your passions but researchers agree with the villain of the film. In fact, research unexpectedly shows following your passion can be dangerous advice. Carol Dweck, an expert on learning and motivation and a professor at Stanford, found that research participants who followed their passions were more likely to give up when concepts, ideas, and progress became difficult than those who were simply learning something new. And while passion is powerful, to follow one's passion can also be limiting in its own way. You might not know your passion right now, and there's nothing unusual or hopeless about keeping your options open and understanding that no meaningful path is easy. For my final piece of advice, I'm going way back. When I was little, few things were more fascinating than the records in my parents' collection. Their stacks of LPs provided my first lessons in taste, style, and art, and British invasion bands most notably the Beatles. My favorite Beatles song, John Lennon's song, the one my mom and I would sing together was In My Life, 
a little jewel box of a guitar lick to start the song, and then a lyric that overpowered me with emotion. There are places I'll remember all my life, though some have changed, some forever, not for better. Some have gone and some remain. In My Life advises us to remember the past, the people in our lives, the places we go, the experiences we endure. These were John Lennon's raw materials. And no doubt, the people you've known over the last four years, the places you've been, and the experiences you've had are the raw material for your feeling right now. What I'm talking about is nostalgia. And many of you, no doubt, are feeling a wave of nostalgia right now. I imagine many of your parents and grandparents and aunts and cousins and friends are too. They remember your first three-word sentence. They remember walking into your kindergarten classroom on the very first day. They remember when you first played basketball and skinned your knee and had to get up again. And they remember the you that started at Huron four years ago, awkward, freshman, nervous mostly about fitting in, scared the school would be too big for you, and now it's you who are too big for us. But nostalgia alone can be a dead end. Nostalgia can make a sugarcoat the past. It tastes better that way, but it's not the real thing. Another way of saying this is that I don't believe there is any kind of universal advice or wisdom that can guide you in your moment. There might be, there might not be. Don't let anyone else tell you what is best or most important. This is irony in action, folks. And my very best piece of advice is to not take advice too seriously. Maybe it's best said, think about the advice you receive and make it your own. Who you are today may or may not be who you become tomorrow. And today's portrait of you is just a snapshot of who you are in this moment. Today most certainly is the end of something. But as Ricardo said, it's more importantly the beginning of something. And I truly believe that you and only you can determine what are the best years of your life. And with that comes freedom and power to make what's going on now, what's in your immediate future, the best. Even the Beatles song, In My Life, understands that nostalgia, where you've been, the past, what you've done, isn't everything. Life is about the present, too. It's about recognizing new experiences and new moments, and it's the new that makes the present and future meaningful. Mostly, it's about appreciating the special people in your lives. All those friends and lovers, there's no one who compares with you. And these memories lose their meaning when I think of love as something new. For John Lennon, it's you who makes memory melt away. And to the class of 2019, I say it is you who are incomparable. To graduate from high school is an accomplishment. To some of you, it may seem like a small accomplishment. To others, it may seem unreal, as there were times when graduating seemed impossible. Regardless of how you perceive this accomplishment, it is one. And it is one that you achieve through your own talents and efforts. And you are more creative, more open-minded, more socially conscious, more empowered than the friends I had in my life, your children of the 21st century. And I believe you don't need advice to make your future meaningful. You just need the opportunity. And I hope in our way, our small way, we've helped to give that to you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Eldon. At this time, I'd like to honor two beloved staff members who will be retiring. The first staff member that I'd like to honor and tell you just a little bit about is Ms. Kathleen Cheney White. Ms. Kathleen Cheney White attended Detroit Public Schools where she started a teaching career as an elementary reading intervention teacher. She then moved to Hillsdale, Michigan where she became a special education teacher consultant. The rest of her career was spent teaching in Texas, Abu Dhabi, Bahrain, Arizona, New Mexico, Singapore, Norway, and Hungary. After nearly 18 years teaching overseas, Ms. Cheney White returned to Michigan in 2002 and taught at Redford Union High School before coming to Huron High School. Upon retirement, Ms. Cheney White plans to visit friends overseas, spend time with her family, and substitute teach. After 46 years as a teacher, she thanks her colleagues, students, and parents for making her career a memorable one. 
And I thank you, Ms. Cheney White. Congratulations on your retirement. The next person I'd like to ask to stand and to honor is Kate Odette, or affectionately called Nurse Kate. Kate Odette, Odette began and ended her 20-year school nurse career at Huron High School. She has also worked at numerous Ann Arbor public schools since 1999. Kate is the lead nurse for AAPS and is the 2019 Michigan School Nurse of the Year. Upon retirement, Kate and her husband, Randy, plan to enjoy more time with their, grand, their three grandchildren, vacationing at their cottage in Indian River, exploring North America in their new RV, and enjoying some old and new hobbies. Congratulations, and thank you, Kate. And now it's my distinct pleasure to call Dr. Janice K. Swift to the podium for her presentation of the class of 2019. Well, good evening. How are you doing, graduates? Let's take a seventh inning stretch. Will the graduates rise and we'll give you another round of applause. Here we go. Up you go. There you go. Very good, you may be seated. Now, if you've been uh, following along in your program, graduates, you may notice, and by the way, you're doing an excellent job this evening. You may notice that I am the final speech standing between you and the diploma. So we'll do our best to get right to the point. Well, good evening. It is a great day in the Ann Arbor Public Schools as we gather this evening to honor you, graduates, at this Huron High School commencement ceremony for the class of 2019. Yeah. What an immense pleasure to join together with our Huron staff, teachers, administrators, with our Huron High School, parents, families, friends, and the entire Ann Arbor community. In the presence of the trustees of the Board of Education, we are here to publicly celebrate and honor each of you on this very special graduation day. Huron graduates, all 398 of you, from your rat ears all the way to the rat tail, in solid gold and green, a sea of rat pride, we are proud of you, and you are a brilliant and beautiful sight tonight. Yeah. So we celebrate each of you this evening, and I want you to hear from me, graduates. We see you. We witness and respect your individual stories, the challenges you have overcome, and we hear your important voices. We honor the unique journey that each of you has taken to arrive to this very special evening and achieve the milestone of high school graduation. Class of 2019, as Mr. Eldon noted, it's natural to be nostalgic now as you reflect on the journey of your lives today. I've been reflecting a little bit about you this week. You were born at the dawn of a new century, who out there was born in the year 2000? Raise your hand, good. Pat yourself on the back there. 2001, raise your hand, there they are. Very good. 
You were born into this world at the dawn of a new century. You are Y2K babies. And as if heralding a new century weren't enough, you arrived more seriously on the planet in the months before and around the historic 9-11 attacks. You grew up as children against the backdrop of a lightning quick pace of change amid an explosion of social media. I'm certain your feeds are buzzing even now. And here you are this evening, as if all of that didn't bring you far enough, you are members of this historic, inaugural, international baccalaureate graduating class at Huron High School, coming of age in June 2019. You are special. You were born into and you're accustomed to big historic moments. Clearly, River Rats, big moments are how you roll. And today, here you are at another big moment. And yet, as I look around today in the world in June 2019, I know we are constantly reminded with an ever streaming, painting, buzzing of disturbing, heartbreaking, and shocking headlines. There's a brutal reality out there. And with almost every news beat, it seems we've been set back in our progress to achieve equality, truth, and justice, to meet our shared challenge and achieve a better world together. You see, we do face immense challenges in our world just now. And I want to share with you, graduates, as someone who also came of age in another very tumultuous chapter in history in the years following Vietnam and the Watergate scandal. I want to share with you, though, that I know it is as true tonight as it has ever been. We need you. And here is my challenge in this moment, Huron graduates. We need you. Our world needs you. We need your passion, your brilliance, your energy, your talent, and vision. We need you committed to and directed by those IB learner profile traits. You are inquirers, thinkers, knowledgeable. You are open-minded. You are principled. You are communicators. And as Ricardo mentioned, you are risk takers. And I know that you've been prepared for this, another big moment in your journey. You have a destiny, you're on a mission, and you have a distinct role to play at this very moment in history for our desperate world out there. The words we speak over you tonight are important. And so in keeping with Mr. Campbell's uh, very accurate prediction that we have to go to a quote, I'm going to use one from President Barack Obama. <laughs> yeah. He said it this way, graduates, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. We did not come to fear the future. We came here to shape it. Here on high school graduates, you emerge from a mighty and powerful place under the oversight of your beautiful parents and families and your amazing Huron staff. You emerge from Huron High School, home of the River Rats, 
the Ann Arbor Public Schools in Ann Arbor, Michigan. You are the ones we've been waiting for. You will not fear the future because you came here to shape it. Tonight, you have absolutely everything it takes to move forward in confidence. I want you to take a deep breath in and out. Hold your head high, and you will impact our world in positive and profound ways. We are already immensely proud of you, of the difference you will make, and of the notable achievements you will realize. And so it is at this time, on behalf of the Board of Education, Dr. Schwamm, I formally accept this Huron class of 2019 as having fulfilled, yes, as having fulfilled all the requirements and obligations necessary to graduate from the Ann Arbor Public Schools, and I hereby authorize the awarding of the diplomas. Congratulations and best wishes here on High School, class of 2019. I'm sorry. Unless do you want me to pull it up? Cyrus Abadi. Araf Abdul Jaber. Selena Abdullah. Isa Abdur Rauf. <laughs> Helen Abraha. Brian Acosta. <laughs> Natasha Asia. Aman Akhtar. Donna L. Mahawili. Miriam L. Modar. What? 
Lizbeth Alfaro Mendoza. <laughs> Rachel Allen. Zaid, Zaid Almajali. <laughs> Sabine Almendras. <laughs> Augustus Anderson. Miguel Andres. Jaleen Aparicio Navas. <laughs> Prabhpreet Bajwa. Shreya Banda. Bennett Barker. Ian Barrett. Ari Bash. Urong Salong Batsahan. Elizabeth Bedoin. Taylor Bedoin. Isabel Berg. Derek Berger. What? Arun Bhattacharya. Born Bhattacharya. Umang Bojani. Sienna Blazewski. Leanne Botkins. Claire Bott. Clara Boudet. Brooke Brenner. Caroline Bromberg. Christopher Brown. Keith Brown. Peter Bringer. Mia Buchanan. Bo Bucklin. Miguel Buendia. Robert Burke. Kennedy Burris. Zoe Burton. Michelle Bouchatz. Andrea Cabrera. Ruth Calhoun. Amelia Callen. Adam Campaign. Cameron Campbell. Thank you. <laughs> Eric Cardwell. Yeah. 
James Cardwell. Joshua Carroll. Cesar Castillo. Juliana Caton. Jorge Cerdas Elizondo. Justin Avery Chan. Matthew Chang. Tianyao Chen. Stephen Chattelborough. Joanne Cho. Samantha Cho. Allison Cho. Bertrand Chu. William Chung. Gabriel Clare. Elizabeth Knatzer. Dorian Cooper. Alex Coulter. Rebecca Darnell. Christopher Dean. Angela Dang. Louise Deppa. Kieran Duar. Gia Din. Ariel Derogi. London Dottery. Drake Dowdy. Susan Dowling. Madison Downer. William Downer. Alexander Durr. Ryan Duell. Lachlan Dunlavy. Sampath Edie. Madison Ecklin. Cindy Edelman. Zachary Ellerthorpe. Omar El Shazli. Elijah Andress. Brock Engler. Daria Espahan. Londi Esquivel. Kelly Fan. Abdabazit Farah. Takashi Fetters. Giovan Figueroa. Olivia Figueroa. Graham Fingar Myers. Yeah. 
Savannah Fort. Andrew Fry. Charlie Gadson. Ivan Gulkin. Alex Geller. Saulus Galvanowski. Miriam Gandum. Pablo Garcia Acuna. Allison Garrett. Sophie Gelderloos. Brandon Gang. You did it. <laughs> Sylvia Geiger. Jemai Gilbert. Kaylee Glasser. Kayana Glenn. Hayden Glover. Papa Ning. Adriana Gonzalez Figueroa. Riley Govang. Harley Graves. Amaya Gray. Rebecca Griesinger. Mia Griffin. Ryan Goodall. Catherine Gurginian. Mako Hall. Autumn Hollywell. Ezekiel Hollywell. Shelby Harris. Kiani Harris Casanova. Go ahead. Jack Harrison. Dawson Hartman. Iman Hassan. Callie Hasty. Nathaniel Hawley. Johnson He. Jasad Hearn. Michael Herbin. Maya Harrington. Arusha Hewagama. Mm. Micah Higa. Mm. Connor Hearth. Mm. Kay Hoffmeyer. Mm. Michael Huang. Dane Hubers. Kyle Hewn. Richard Hurley. Zane Hussein. Eugene Hoon.
Carl Innes. Ayaka Inoki. Sujay Jaypali. Jonathan Jiang. Ritvik Jabala. M Melody Jin. McLean Johns. Anaya Johnson. <laughs> Kaya Johnson. <laughs> Kiara Jones. <laughs> Russell Jones. <laughs> Benjamin Jew. Katie Jew. Alexander Joseph. Ibrahim Joseph. Nihar Josie. Alexis Jocelyn. Asan Ka. Odia Kaba. Caitlin Coletta. Ethan Call. Alexander Judge. Natalie Kazi. <laughs> Celia Kent. <laughs> Andrew Avery Kiyomani Pulsinelli. <laughs> Basra Kanan. <laughs> Nali Kailani. <laughs> Tahira Khan. Danae Kilgore. <laughs> Hannah Kim. <laughs> Jiwan Kim. <laughs> Raymond Kim. <laughs> Youngbin Kim. <laughs> Teresa Kimmel. Zevi Kinberg Cowan. Phoebe Kinch. <laughs> Abdul Kazito. <laughs> Samuel Klinich. <laughs> Caleb Nisley. Grace Kohanek. Rizvik Kodali. Kara Kazma. Kelly Kramer. Benjamin LePage. Aliyah Leaf. Jenny Lee. Nathan Lee. Victor Lee. Shoshana Leftline. 
Kara Lindstrom. Chufei Liu. Luke Lucky. Wembo Ma. Gerardo Macias. Sophie Madsen. Zina Maher. Maryam Mahmood. Ellie Makar Limanoff. Mavish Malik. Akio Manchanda. Kaylee Manchester. Yeshwanth Mane. Jaden Marks. Braden Martin. Kyle Martin. Christy Martinez. Shalani Matthews. Oliver Maiman. Jua McCrary. Trevor McCullough. Teresa McKelvey. Rena McRoy. Carly Mishek. Galia Miskevich. Lara Miskevich. Ricardo Mojica. Marvell Moore. Jessica Moran. Talia Morgan. Davis Moyer. Bhuvna Murti. Lauren Michlevsky. Sota Nakamura. Sonali Narayan. Gabriel Nakula. Lixandra Negron Montañez. Vera Newman. Andy Nguyen. Ashley Nguyen. Kader Niegadu. Elizabeth Nimi. Afua and Kansando. Nayla Norris. Sao Otake. Leonardo Ortega. Giselle Osorio Vasquez. Sarah Oda. Lynn Palmer. Jiho Park. Chanvesna Penn. Yuliang Penn. Imani Peterkin. 
Jenna Peterson. Kang Fan. Tylo Fidevong. Naya Phillips. Michael Pokernich. Victor Poma. Justin Pomo. Whitney Prince. Colin Poofel. John Rackmill. <laughs> Syria Reghavendron. Ella Rasmussen. Nicholas Rao. Yvonne Redondo. Kayla Ritchie. Alexis Ripley. Rishara Roach. Valen Roan. Anthony Neal Roberts Cup. Brian Robinson. Sterling Robinson the second. Anna Romeri. Joseph Rosales. Michael Rosas Martinez. Lauren Rose. Cheyenne Roy. Leon Rune. Adam Ruff. Matthew Rust. Jose Miguel Rustia. David Sakov. Allison Saab. Megan Saab. Jacob Sackett Dabeen. Abdukhani Saeed. Alyssa Salomon. Eric Salazar. Estrella Salazar. Jack. Santinga Janelle Sales Ben Shadig Kevin Schultz Ethan Schwab Anna Scott Zamaya Scott. Alexis Sherman. Maz Sheikh. Anisha Sharma. Pranav Sharma. Thank you, sir. David Shin. Joanna Shang. 
Ayana Seeger. Tyler Sindoni. Sierra Slater. James Slater. Jasmine Slay. Walter Smith. Ivan Smolino. Natalie Smolinova. Corbin Snyder. Grayson Felisa Snyder. Andrew Soltis. Brian Song. Lai Soare. <laughs> Vija Srinivas. Lisa Stevens. Miriam Stevens. Lee Stewart. Alex Story. Brendan Stradnix. Arthur Sue. Wu Jin. Su, su. Sorry, Wujin Su. Osip Sudutovic. Sudu Steven Tanaby. What? Yahang Tong. Walandra Taylor. Andrew Tesmer. Abhishek Takurta. Fatu Cham. Jordan Thompson. Louisa Tittle. Matthew Toll. Bengali Treor. Benjamin Trapp. Naisha Triplett. Ira Tunkel. Emmanuel Uduji. Chingus Umberev. Ayush Unadkat. Anthony Van. Yeah. Gerald Vaughn. Robert Ventur II. Brianna Virkies. Rosemary Wass. Andrew Waddles. Devin Walker. Jalen Walker. Marshall Walker. Cody Wallinga. Sarah Wamstaker. 
Charles Wan. Austin Wang. Benjamin Wang. Bradley Wang. Jonathan Wang. Patrick Wong. Jacqueline Wasserman. Virgil Watkins. Christina Watson. Noah Watson. Samuel Westfall. Jasmine Wyron. George White. Courtney Williams. Latea Wilson. Jason Wing. Madeline Wood. Lisa Zhu. Kevin Yan. Samuel Yang. Zushin Ren. Zainab Yusuf. Elijah Zavisa. Arthur Jong. Shubu Jong. Ife Jong. Kevin Jung. Henry Joe. Nicholas Zahowski. And Lauren Zakowski. Will the class of 2019 please rise? Please move your tassels from right to left. You are now graduated. Congratulations. class of 2019 I want to say congratulations I ask you to be risk takers and when you fail most importantly I ask I ask that you get back up and continue to fight for your future best wishes the Scarlet Nation to the class of 2019 we are so proud to see you grow and move forward in your future 
We look forward to all that you'll accomplish. You all are an amazing group. You've accomplished so much in your research, in your studies, in your sports, and in your activities. So we are proud of you and we can't wait to see what you will do. Go Rats! Best wish for the class 2019 is... Pursue your dreams! Class of 2019, I'm so proud of you for how you have grown and matured, coming in as wily little freshmen, and you guys have grown into such amazing, productive young adults. I wish you the best of luck in your future, and I hope that you are always happy and enjoy life. My wish for the class of 2019 is for you to follow your passion, even if it takes you a while to get there. Hi, class of 2019. Congratulations on your graduation. I am so proud of your ability to be courageous, your humor, um, your ability to think outside of the box, and I wish for you the ability to go ahead and seek out your dreams and continue being as courageous and awesome as you are right now. Go Rats! My wish for the class of 2019 is that you keep creating and doing what you love. My wishes for the class of 2019 are that you strive to live your dreams. Don't just talk about them, do them. Every day you have the choice to be average or extraordinary. Choose extraordinary. for bringing back award-winning publications. Go team! Hello, River Rats! Congratulations, class of 2019. Thanks for the memories. Best wishes always. Bye-bye. Congratulations, here on class of 2019. We enjoyed you when you guys were at Clegg. We had a lot of fun. We learned a lot. We wish you the best in the future. We know you guys are going to do amazing things in this world. Congrats again. Always remember to leave with your heart. From Claygites to River Rats and beyond, live long and prosper. We love you. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2019. Way to go. My wish for the class of 2019 is to always find your people wherever you go. Hi, class of 2019. I want to congratulate you and say that I wish you resilience for the days to come. I wish you happiness, and I wish that you go for your dreams class of 2019, especially those of you from Scarlet Middle School. I have very fond memories of teaching you in the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, especially when you planned and executed a salsa making contest in my class. You were amazing then. You are amazing now, and I'm sure that you will have an amazing future. Good luck to you. We're so proud of your commitment to make your mark on the world and to soak up all of the music, art, history, and literature the wonderful world of humanities has to offer. Congratulations, Congratulations 2019! On class of 2019, I want to say congratulations. I ask you to be risk takers. And when you fail, most importantly, I ask, I ask that you get back up and continue to fight for your future. Best wishes, the Scarlet Nation. To the class of 2019, we are so proud to see you grow and move forward in your future. We look forward to all that you'll accomplish. You all are an amazing group. You've accomplished so much in your research, in your studies, in your sports, and in your activities. So we are proud of you and we can't wait to see what you will do. Go Rats! Best wish for the class of 2019 is... Pursue your dreams! Class of 2019, I'm so proud of you for how you have grown and matured, coming in as wily little freshmen, and you guys have grown into such amazing, productive young adults. I wish you the best of luck in your future, and I hope that you are always happy and enjoy life. My wish for the class of 2019 is for you to follow your passion, even if it takes you a while to get there. Hi, class of 2019. Congratulations on your graduation. I am so proud of your ability to be courageous, your humor, um, your ability to think outside of the box, and I wish for you the ability to go ahead and seek out your dreams and continue being as courageous and awesome as you are right now. Go Rats! 
My wish for the class of 2019 is that you keep creating and doing what you love. My wishes for the class of 2019 are that you strive to live your dreams. Don't just talk about them, do them. Every day you have the choice to be average or extraordinary. Choose extraordinary. For bringing back award-winning publications, go team! Hello, River Rats! Congratulations, class of 2019. Thanks for the memories. Best wishes always. Bye-bye. Congratulations, here on Class of 2019. We enjoyed you when you guys were at Clegg. We had a lot of fun, we learned a lot. We wish you the best in the future. We know you guys are gonna do amazing things in this world. Congrats again. Always remember to lead with your heart. From Claygites to River Rats and beyond, live long and prosper. We love you. <laughs> Congratulations, Class of 2019. Way to go. My wish for the class of 2019 is to always find your people wherever you go. Hi class of 2019, I want to congratulate you and say that I wish you resilience for the days to come. I wish you happiness and I wish that you go for your dreams. Class of 2019, especially those of you from Scarlet Middle School, I have very fond memories of teaching you in the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. especially when you planned and executed a salsa making contest in my class. You were amazing then, you are amazing now, and I'm sure that you will have an amazing future. Good luck to you. We're so proud of your commitment to make your mark on the world and to soak up all of the music, art, history, and literature the wonderful world of humanities has to offer. Congratulations, Congratulations 2019! Thank you.